This video shows how you can quickly and easily install and use the standalone version of Infoblox DNS Firewall Virtual Evaluation to detect APT or malware by uploading PCAP files or DNS log files for analysis. Before you begin, make sure to download the virtual eval kit from the URL shown here. You can refer to the evaluation guide and the download kit for more details on installation and configuration. The DNS Firewall Virtual Eval runs on VMware and you will need the vSphere client installed and connected to vCenter. To get started, in the vSphere client, click on File and then the Deploy OVF template. Browse and select the .ova file that you downloaded as part of the Virtual Eval Kit. This .ova file contains the DNS Firewall and the reporting modules. Read and accept the End User License Agreement. The next few steps are specific to vCenter and are required to assign storage and compute resources to the Infoblox virtual appliances. After entering the organization name, copy and paste the activation code that you received by email from Infoblox when you downloaded the evaluation. Next, enter the networking properties like the IP address, subnet mask, and other parameters for both DNS firewall standalone module and the reporting server. Keep your network topology handy as a reference as you enter these properties. Review the settings and deploy. The eval will take a few minutes to deploy. Once the deployment is complete, edit DNS Firewall VM and the Reporting VM and the Guide VM to assign the VLANs to the proper network adapters. The Guide VM is the module that lets you upload PCAP or DNS log files for analysis. Power on the DNS Firewall Demo vApp. Wait for 10 minutes to make sure all the services are initialized and running. Now, go to the Guide VM user interface on your favorite browser. Here, you can check the testbed, check DNS, and upload PCAP files for analysis. Once the PCAP files are uploaded, you can check if there's any malicious activity that is captured in the PCAP file by logging into the Grid Manager user interface. The login ID is admin and the password is Infoblox. Both the username and password are all lowercase letters. Going to the syslog and selecting RPZ Incident Quick Filter lets you see logging of all suspicious queries in the PCAP files that register a hit with the DNS firewall. These queries are malicious communications originating from within your network going out to malicious domains either to download more malicious software or to exfiltrate data. Malicious activity is also captured in the RPZ statistics widget under Dashboard and then the Status tab. It might take a few minutes or a few hours depending on your DNS traffic for the malicious activity to show up in the widgets. The Infoblox reporting server helps identify infected clients that are trying to communicate to malicious domains. DNS Top RPZ Hits report shows domains in the RPZ feed that have the most hits. In a non-evaluation environment, you can also drill down to a specific client to see the IP address, MAC address, host name, and other information of the device making the malicious query. The Top DNS Firewall Hits report provides information on traffic distribution between various malicious domains and provides contextual information on those domains. You can see exactly what type of malware or APT is most active inside your network. So in summary, with the DNS Firewall Virtual Evaluation standalone option, you can quickly upload your log files, detect malicious activity, and easily identify infected clients for cleanup. According to the latest security research, most companies have malware and don't know about it. We highly encourage you to try this evaluation to see if your network might have hidden malware or APTs.